Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to continue talking about prayer, reading from uh, Madame Jeanne Guyon's book entitled uh, The Short and Very Easy Method of Prayer. In English, it's often called spiritual progress or um, experiencing the depths of Jesus Christ or finding God through prayer. It's given various titles in English. Um, but I'm going to read today from Spiritual Progress and talking about prayer. See, a lot of people uh, um, write to me with prayer requests. And uh, as the time has passed, you know, the months and years have gone by, I'm beginning to notice that um, the best thing that I could do for these people is not to pray for them, but to show them how to pray. And uh, it's, it's like the old saying, it's better to teach a person to fish than to give a person to fish. Because if you give a person a fish, they have fish food for one day. But if you teach them to fish, then they have food for a lifetime. So here's what I've observed. Um, many people, when they want to pray, or when they ask others to pray for them, are in a state of upset. They're, they're upset. They're reacting to things that are happening on the outside. And in that state of upset, basically what it is, it's a, it's a trance state. It's a state of mind where you are subject to emotions and subject to images in the mind, often very negative ones. What happened what she said, what he did, you know, and worrying about what, what's going to happen in the future, what am I going to do? See, it worries, doubts, and fears, fearful images. Okay? And the person dwells on those images. A great general once said, never, never take counsel of your fears. He was a very wise man. and No wonder he was a great general. Never take counsel of your fears. But that's exactly what people do a lot of times when it's time, when they need prayer, it's because, it's because, and they think of asking someone to pray for them. It's because uh, things have happened and they're reacting to those things. That's the point I'm getting at. They're reacting, reacting, reacting. Then they, then they es escape into the mind where they continuously dwell upon thoughts, fantasies, illusions, delusions, worries, doubts, fears. And that is the hypnotic, it's a hypnotic state. It's a trance state. It's not a fully aware, awake and aware state. They're kind of lost down there. And, and all of those uh, things that they've heard and people, things that people have said and all the suggestions and the images, okay, in their imagination, they all kind of combine together with emotions to overwhelm the, the consciousness. It pulls them down into that state. Now, in that state, two things. Number one, it's hard to pull yourself out of it. Number two, in that state, you're at quite a disadvantage because you're not in a fully awake and fully aware state where you can see if you're fully awake and fully aware, then you can do reality checks and you can ponder things and reason, see, possibly come up with a, 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 a solution, see? But when you're in a reasonable solution, an intuitive solution, a thoughtful, so a wise solution, or at least a wise, maybe not a solution, but at least something to do that's, that's, uh, what, that's based on reason, not emotion. But when you're pulled down into the emotions and you're down there with your fantasies and your, your worries and your doubts and your fears, then you, you fall into a, 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 a kind of a primary process thinking, a kind of a, 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 an older, a, a less advanced form of thinking. See, and you, and you become suggestible and you are hiding down there. And so, and, but the worst, of, the worst of all is that you don't have access to intuition. You don't have access to God's light, see? Human beings were meant to live in reality. People like Abraham, Isaac, Noah, 
Isaiah, Jacob, um, David, um, Paul, Christ, John. See, these people, Ruth, see, these people lived in reality. And, and also Mary, Mary Magdalene, see, she had been a great sinner, but she recovered because of, of Christ, because she loved him. And she loved what was in him. She loved the good that she saw in him. And she knew who he was. See, that's very important. She knew in her heart who he was. Not because somebody told her, not because of something she saw, but she just knew, was inspired. She knew in her heart that God had sent the Christ and, who, and he was the Messiah. So she was in reality. She lived in, re she was living in, you see what I mean? Awake and aware of what is, what really is. Whereas other people, the, the Pharisees were lost in what? Planning, scheming, thinking, analyzing, studying, see? And they, they couldn't see who Jesus was because they were lost in their religious studies or in their, um, down there in that soup, intellectual soup. So these people that I mentioned, they, they lived in reality and they walk, walk with God. And that's the way you need to be too. You need to be, live, be in reality because there you have access to the inner light from God and wisdom and intuition and forbearance and patience and long suffering and common sense and, all the, and, and courage and all these beautiful virtues that, that come from living in reality, being close to the inner light and doing what you know is right in your heart. That's where you need to be. So now you see how people who have been reacting to things on the outside, see? And, and these things, are, it's not usually something that just happened. I mean, they were walking with God and then something happened. No, it's, they've, they, it, they've had a lifetime of escaping, a lifetime of being angry and resenting this and resenting that and, and uh, uh, escaping into drugs and marijuana and alcohol and escaping into work and not facing reality and procrastinating see a lifetime of that and daydreaming of greatness and being good and and wanting to be respected and admired and wanting to be right and never wrong and planning and scheming and lost down in their in their daydreams thinking about making it big making a lot of money in the stock market or winning the lottery or See, these fantasies, see, our mind, you're, you don't know who's feeding your mind, your mind, these fantasies when you're lost down there. You think it's your very own thinking, but these, these th thoughts are coming from the outside and these suggestions. And people who want to manipulate you, they know how to appeal to your ego by praising you or by making you afraid, worried, by offering you some, some advantage, see, some easy way, way to make a, quick money, see, or anti-wrinkle cream or whatever it is that whatever your ego trip is, they know how to get to. So there you are down there. So then when things really get, you know, not so good, then what? Then the person thinks, well, I better pray. <laughs> What's the old joke? Well, we've tried everything else. The only thing left to do is pray. Well, that's what you should have done first. But see, these people, they should have, they should have been walking with God long time ago. They should have always been walking with God, not living in their imagination, in their daydreams, and, 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 and also things like uh, video games and music, entertainment. See, these things are, are themselves uh, uh, lead you into the imagination, into images. See, so there people are lost in their images, their imaginative images, and, and their emotions. So then when things happen, it's always a surprise. It's always a rude surprise. Oh, my God. Or, oh, no. See, it's always that. It's always that because we're not aware. See, an aware person has vision. In the Bible, it says, my people perish for lack of vision. See, if you're aware, if you're awake, you're not in this hypnotic state that I was talking about, lost in your imagination. If you are awake, and aware, then you can see just a little bit ahead. See, you're actually outside of time. Your soul is outside of time. 
you see a little bit ahead and something is coming and you know how to delicately step aside or something is not um, uh, good and you you simply don't get involved with it see or the timing you just you move at, at a different your own time and space see and the, the bad thing passes by and you're safe it was very important to be aware so people are you don't know what a great disadvantage you're at you're at when you're lost in your imagination okay um, now madame Guyon very nice lady very spiritual lady she wrote the book um, spiritual progress about prayer she called it a short and very easy method of prayer so that she was what she called it in, in French that's what she called it that's what she called it in French and she's talk and she talks about coming into the presence of God becoming still and recollecting oneself as she calls it as she says recollecting in other words drawing within see and standing back standing back see from those thoughts and those images and just watch them pass and thereby you're closer to God and you're in the present and you're in reality and you hear the birds sing and since you're close to God then he will, he will give you his light so you have awareness you have a wordless intuitive way of, of knowing God gives you his awareness so you have an intuitive wordless way of knowing see which is completely different from being lost down in your thinking thinking and thinking and worrying and planning and scheming and reliving the past and worrying about the future and see it's totally different from that so in the present in the presence is what we're um, is what Madame Guyon is, is talking about and she says it's very simple because it is simple and she sees that you come about it by wanting to and by and by realizing that you're not going to find God in 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 thinking in study trying to figure things out you find him by becoming still see mostly study and analyzing and trying to figure things out it, it was very closely connected to your ego to your pride wanting to play God wanting to figure it out without God see but the the aware person is uh, is more is passive in a way passive before the inner light instead of always reaching for something reaching for a distraction or a magazine or a video game or reaching into thought and thinking about the past or thinking about the future the person is still in the in the present and becomes passive and still for God see but not passive out in the world no Somebody once said that the, the spiritual man is uh, is on his knees before God, but stands tall in the world. See? He stands tall like George Washington. He stood tall. See, a very courageous man, noble man, but on his knees, he was on his knees before his creator. See how that works? All right, so now you see why if I could teach you if I could help you to to pray and pray and what was so what would the prayer be it would be to become still in in the present in reality awake and aware and close to God see close to God that's where you want to be close to God and then it says in the Bible he already knows what you need before you even ask him but you need to be close to him see then you can pray without ceasing Paul said we should pray without ceasing so now you 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 see so I think I'm going to stop at this point I was going to read you something from Madame Guyon but instead I will stop now and uh, and I'll read from her book chapter 2 um, next time